So in today's Squarespace tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to add Facebook reviews or Google reviews or any kind of embedded reviews onto your Squarespace website so that it looks something like this. It's a great way to build trust with your audience because not only are you showing them testimonials, they're also coming from a more authoritative source than just putting some text on your website. And widgets like these will pull through the testimonials automatically. So every time you get a new one, they will display here on your website. So if you want to add these easily to your Squarespace website, keep on watching. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Elf site and I've got a link. It's an affiliate link down below in the video description to take you here. Go to Elf site and you want to basically create a free account. You can sign up for free at the top here and you can also see um, kind of what their pricing is. You have the light free version, which is great, which will let you add one of their apps or plugins to your website. Um, as long as your website's got kind of under 200 monthly views. Once you start getting more than that, then you want to pay $5 a month, but that's really not that much, especially if you are going to be showing your reviews. It's a really, really useful thing to have on your website. So once you've created your free account, your back end of Elf site is going to look something like this and automatically you're going to have the applications area. And these are all of the apps or plugins that you can create using Elf site um, that you can embed onto any website. I'm going to be showing you on Squarespace, but it's really easy to do on any kind of website builder that you're using. So we're going to be adding some reviews to the website. So you want to head to the reviews section. Um, I'm going to show you Facebook reviews in this case but you can actually add reviews from loads of different places. So Google reviews, Amazon reviews, Airbnb, Etsy. It's a really, really good way to just embed your reviews from elsewhere, but straight onto your website. So it looks, it gives that authority as well. They also have this all in one reviews widget where it combines your reviews from different um, places as well. So like Google, Facebook, Amazon, all in one widget. Um, but we're just going to go for Facebook reviews here. So first we're going to want to give our widget a name. I'm just going to call it Facebook by Rosanna for my website. And then you have a few different widget options and styles to choose from. So here we've got a little floating badge in the corner. You can have um, just a tiny little badge like that. You can have a testimonial slider, which would look like this, that are basically taking your reviews straight from Facebook or all sorts of different styles here um, for whatever's gonna suit your website and what you need best. I personally quite like this one because you get um, the people's names and their profile picture plus a little snippet of each review as well. So I'm going to go ahead and click on continue with this template and then we need to add in our Facebook URL so it knows where to pull these reviews from. So I know that this is my Facebook URL so I'm just going to copy the link up here and head back over and paste this in and then it's going to load up all of my reviews here into the widget builder. You can also add filters as well. So maybe you only want to show your five star reviews. If you've got other ones, um, maybe you don't want to have those show, which are great. You can exclude certain reviews or only include certain reviews. There's loads of customizations you can do with this as well. And you can also sort them um, make them appear randomly or by most recent. Um, and you also have some other layout choices here as well. So I've got it in a grid currently, but you could also have it as a list or in more of a collage view or a carousel. Um, actually, that's quite cool for people to scroll along. I'm going to keep it like that. Um, you can edit the width of this and the title as well. So maybe you don't want to have that title appear there or you want to change it to say something else. I'm just going to toggle that off so then it gets rid of it. You can also click on the review button here and just change what you want to show up in the reviews. Um, there's, like I say, so many different ways you can customize this and also change the accent colors as well to fit with your website. Um, so you could change the fonts to be more in line with the fonts on your website. You can change the color to be in your brand colors, however you want to do it. So then we obviously want to add this to our website and this is super, super easy. Um, all you need to do is copy this code that it gives you, click to copy it 
head over to your Squarespace website. And as I say, you can do this easily on any website where you're able to add in HTML code into a page. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new page in my Squarespace website here. It doesn't matter what it's called for now. And I'm going to edit it and add a new blank section just so that I can show you how to add it. So automatically the section's got a text block in it, but we want to add a code block. So let me move myself out of the way so that you can see. I'm going to click on code block. And now I'm going to get rid of the demo code there. And I'm just going to paste in the code that I just copied from Elf site. Now, when you're in edit mode on Squarespace, you'll see this little thing saying script disabled. That's fine. That is just because you are editing the page. It's not going to load any custom code. So what you need to do is then go to done and save. And then the page is going to refresh and you're going to see your reviews here, which looks great and it fits in really well with my website. It's automatically actually found the uh, font that I'm using on my website here and it's using that. And the cool thing is you can actually edit your widget and see how many views it's had right from within your website as well. So I can click on edit and it will take me straight here. Um, and this is only visible to you as the person who owns the widget. Now you will notice um, if you've got the free version of Elf site that it does have this little button down here saying free Facebook reviews widget. It does give you the option to get rid of this, but obviously by um, upgrading your plan to a paid plan instead. But yeah, that's how easy it is. You can add this onto any page. So for example, on my website design page, I might want to add a section kind of in the middle here um, showing my Facebook reviews or my Google reviews, whatever it is. You could also add it to your product pages as well. So um, when you're editing a product in Squarespace, let's say my um, email marketing course, for example, if I wanted to add some reviews, um, I've just got screenshots down there for now, but if I wanted to add some live reviews that I've got from Facebook, all I would need to do is go into the product, go into additional info, and then just do the same thing. So add a code block and paste in the code that Elfsight gives you, and then it will load in there. Obviously it's in edit mode, so it won't load straight away, but if I applied that, it would then load onto the page. So yeah, that's how to easily add reviews from other places to your Squarespace website. Definitely go and check out the other apps that Elf site has. There's so many different things that you can do um, and use on your website. And if you use my affiliate link below to sign up, I do get a bit of a kickback. So thank you in advance for supporting my channel in that way. And I will see you again next week with another video. Bye.